Hello viewers, this is Nobel Shah. Once again, welcome you all to my Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 tutorial. Today, I am going to discuss with you guys about team. Uh, what is team actually? Team means it is a solution where you can combine two or more Ethernet card so that you can increase your bandwidth okay so maybe you have a network card of 100 MB and you got another network card which is also 100 MB so if you combine these two you will get 200 megabyte of bandwidth okay so in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 how to configure team breeze now I am going to show you guys so for the demonstration we first need at least two or more network cards okay as I am using a virtual machine I have added a network card extra network cards with my machines if I use this command which is if config and hit enter I will see that I have got eth0 eth1 and eth2 I got three network card okay so how to add network card uh, I mean virtual network card with your virtual machine uh, let me show you first go to your virtual machines hyper v manager and go to the settings of the machine and from the add hardware section click on the network adapter and then create click on the add button because my machine is in on state that is why these options are grayed out okay but uh, if you configure your machine in off state you will surely get this option and above okay so that is how you can add a network adapter from this window and then after starting your computer and you get the console just using the if config options you can check whether the ethernet card already added or not okay here i can see i got eth0 eth1 and eth2 this three network cards so now let's configure our team options the first thing we need to create a profile for the team okay so to do that I'm using this option which is NMCLI connection add and then con name okay remember you must use space okay see here I'm using NMCLI and then a space then connection then another space then add then another space then con hyphen name again space what it will be the connection name in my case I am using like this team 0 and then um, the type ok so type is team also so the connection name is team 0 and the type is team and then the if name what will be the if name in my case it is team 0 if name uh, I am using the if name exactly the same of my con name and then config to configure the teaming options and then use second bracket and before that a single quote so inside the bracket within the double quote use the option which is runner and then after the code use a colon again use a second bracket and inside the double code type name and then after the code press colon once again 
and inside double quote type here I'm using active backup there is some other options as well uh, but for this video I'm using active backup options okay and then close the bracket as we use two brackets we need to close two brackets and then finally close it by using the single code that we have started and then hit enter so look it is saying connection team zero successfully added now we need to define the slave that will actually combine with this team so to configure the slave we need to use this option which is nmcli connection add then connection name con name uh, in my case i'm using like this team 0 hyphen p1 and then space the type that will be team hyphen slave and then the if name if name in my case i'm using like for the first one i'm using eth1 so it will be f1 and then space then master who will be the master for this slave in my case it is team 0 and then hit enter so it is saying it is successfully added so again for the second slave the options are actually same just change the connection name here i am changing it to p2 team 0 hyphen p2 and then the if name change the if name because one slave can only use one network card so you have to define another network which is in my case f2 and then hit enter so that is all it is successfully added now we can configure the ip address in our team so to configure the ip address you can use this option which is nmcli connection modify because we already created so now we are using modify option to modify the existing team 0 nmcli connection modify then connection name which is team 0 and then ipv4 dot address if you want to assign ipv4 address and then the ip address like this say 10.10.10.100 10 and cider maybe 8 and then uh, well you can uh, you can always if you want you can assign the gateway as well so if you want to assign gateway remember use the ip address um, before the ip address start with a single code and then after cider give a space and then the gateway what will be the gateway in my case i'm using like this 10.10.10.1 and then close the single code and then space now what will be the method ipv4 dot method i am assigning manual and then what will be the auto connect option so in my case i'm using connection dot auto connect yes so that every time it gets restarted the connection automatically connect you with the network okay and then hit enter so we have already successfully assigned the ip address now three more things we need to do first of all we need to up the connection in an mcli connection up in our case the connection master connection name is team zero so an mcli connection up team zero it is saying connection successfully activated now the same way up two more connections i mean the slave connections p1 and select connection up team 0 p1 uh, okay successfully activated and the second one which is p2 that is all now check the ip address by using the ping command ping and then the ip address that i have assigned and i am getting the reply that means it is working properly no problem at all okay so that is all that is how we can uh, set up the team breeze in red hat enterprise linux 7 uh, 
you guys are wonderful just watching my videos and giving me support to create more and more videos in future thanks very much take care have a good day i'll see you guys in my next videos with some new topics bye bye